Well, alrighty. Today uh, we will be installing the the PHP PG admin software to let you use a, a web interface, point and click interface to manage your your uh, your PostgreSQL database and first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to go over to SAP software packages and just to show you something um, if you one uh, I've got two sets of instructions that I followed from and uh, because of the way I've installed so far in this series uh, how did I lose Because of the way I've installed things so far this series, I uh, already have this package on there. One of the instructions tells you to install it, but it's already here. So when it comes to installing a package from apt, to get the spelling right it's so that's the package that we want to install and uh, if you haven't watched the other videos one of the things that makes this installer unique is it runs the command uh, with the with the dash y switch which means say yes to most of the questions that you're naturally answering yes to uh, and uh, it also runs as sudo so boom so you can see up at the top app get minus y minus f install so uh, f I forget what I think that's full uh, or look for uh, dependency packages and put them on to and the Y is just answer questions for me while it's installing uh, a lot of command line installs with certain packages will ask you questions mid install so this interface doesn't doesn't allow that interactivity so okay so PGP admin is now on the system um, one of the things that's uh, a very unhealthy thing about the way Postgre is, is by default the install has no uh, super user password. So these instructions here will tell you how to do it a uh, very nice way and it's helpful to, to read these over because the uh, the user the command line could be useful to you at some point uh, and knowing how to type in statements correctly and get in and out of that interface is useful but uh, we're just going to go ahead and edit the password uh, let's see users and we're going to go ahead in here and edit by changing the password to something that you will not be seeing. Oh, why does that have to pop up? All right, so. So now uh, our user, our Postgres user, who is the root user for PostgreSQL, uh, has a password so noobs won't have an unsecured instance for their database where somebody can just hit it from the internet and uh, go ahead and change things as root user. So another thing that we want to do is uh, we've got to edit some things because the by default that install 
the install of this this system uh, is is set up to just hit from localhost. So I it might be helpful for you to just leave it as localhost. Like if you never need to access it outside and it's not a remote server that you're working on, then this is fine. Uh, but if you ever want to work on it from from some other location, then uh, you need to set up the remote access, which is just changing two hashtags, commenting one thing out and, and uncommenting the other. So, so we're going to look for that at set PHP admin Apache conf or conf d. So let's go. Set. See if it's in here. There's our PG admin conf. So allowed override none. I think I want that to be all. I want it to be all for something that I'm doing later, but while I'm here. Uh, require local, we want to comment this out. That's what I came in here to do. And uh, just... Copy blotter run it ready for me. Let's see. Camera allow from all. Oh, wrong click. I'm not sure about capitalization in here. I I got a feeling that it doesn't matter that much, but I just, I don't know that much about Apache. So uh, that should be enough of it there. Let me see. Okay, yeah, I believe that's that's all I needed. The, the allow override all is uh, something that's going to uh, let me do a protected web directory for it, which protected web directories are not in either of these instructions. It's just something that, uh, that I'm copying from. Okay, and because we just edited a uh, an Apache file, we want to reload the thing. Um, just uh, forgot to scan through here to see. Okay, so user share page admin. Let's see. Okay, so, so yeah, the uh, you want to reload that Apache server to get those changes to go into effect. So let's see. Okay, and there we go. We, we have uh, liftoff, we have the PG admin working, and something that I just want to check to see if it uh, works either way. I don't think it's going to, but Oh, capital S, silly. Oh, there you go. Okay, so I can hit it as a secured page too. That's very nice. Okay, so uh, 
log in and Password is hard to remember. I had to look it up again, so forgot something. There's another file that I gotta dig into. Um, there's the uh, PHP, there's a PHP file, uh, let's see, file manager. They're uh, by default because, you know, it, it's sort of an idiot proofing um, by default, your 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 Postgre user doesn't have a password, and uh, I'm in the P's. because that doesn't have a password. Your PG admin config settings don't allow that user to log in. So if you installed and didn't know what you were doing enough to tinker with things, you wouldn't get to, to log in at all uh, as, uh, as the Postgre user. So um, right here, extra login security, that line right there is set to true. And we want it set to false. Okay, uh, always uh, end the line with a semicolon with, with these guys. So that may be enough, but I'm going to reload Apache just in case. And let's see. There you go. Okay, so there we go. We have uh, the Postgres user logged in and uh, all your little gizmos that you have available to you. You got roles that you can set up that allow uh, specific users to play certain roles on maintenance of your databases and so forth. And Drupal can easily be run on the Postgres instead of the MySQL. So if you had a preference, uh, pick your pick your poison and and do what you will. Uh, I personally was thinking about setting up one of my Drupal sites on the MySQL because of the way it works and another one on Postgres because uh, the object oriented nature of it seems like it would be better for the other website idea I have. Um, so that's that's why I'm trying to get them both active and uh, running normal. So uh, the last step here is uh, the same thing that we did in a previous video. We're going to protected web directories and we want to protect the uh, let's just uh, just to check I because I, I can't I can't recall the exact directory that this runs out of let me just look around here a second here let's see servers Apache web server what are we showing do we show the we don't show it there so let's let's poke around and see way up here. Let's 
see if there's a sites available. No, okay, it's not there either. So, so it's set. I think it's the user. It's set is it? It's set user share. Or is it user? It's user share. Let's see if I can find something that looks like it. Share and PG admin. All right, yeah, that that looks like that looks like the stuff you need to do this. So that is the directory we want to protect. We want user share PHP admin, just almost identical to the other one. So let's go ahead and we're going to add, we want to add protection for a new directory. Directory path, user, share, HP PG admin selected and uh, choose automatically. No groups yet. Password encryption. Unix is a good choice. Uh, authentication realm. Ah, I forget what I wrote in here before. Let's see. file. Don't do groups yet. I'm going to leave that as no. Set these two to yes. For reasons I mentioned in the prior video, we're going to create that. And then we're going to add a new user. And we're all set. So, when we try to reload this page, we're going to get challenged. Thunderstorms are coming in here. We're going to get challenged by protected web directory security. And we're going to log in with the new credentials. And there you have it. You got your PGP admin installed. So, happy days.